How's it going everybody, Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video I'm going to show you guys how to set up Samba on a Linux machine. This is a little bit similar to the TrueNAS setup I just did. You can watch that here. Uh, this isn't as involved as TrueNAS. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more simpler. So you are going to need a Linux machine. And however much storage you want, for example, 200 gigs, 300 gigs, so on and so forth, you're gonna want that machine to have uh, for your storage space. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have a server set up and I'm gonna SSH into it right now. All right, now that we are in the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this. Our very first thing that I like to do, I like to do this on every fresh install of the OS, is we're gonna run a app update. So we'll do sudo apt update, then hit enter, and type in my sudo password, and let this go through. Once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and install Samba. So we'll do sudo apt install samba. I'll do minus y and then enter. All right, with that installed, we're gonna go ahead and make a new directory. So we're gonna use mkdir and then we'll call it whatever we want. I'm a YouTuber, so I'll just name the directory YouTube enter and then if we do a quick ls you see our folder here i'm going to go ahead and cd into our folder and then once we're in the folder if we do pwd which is print working directory you see a slash home slash solution slash youtube remember that because we're going to need that in a second although don't remember mine remember yours so now we are going to want to edit the config file so we'll do sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf to enter and we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom all right now in your brackets we are going to name the share mine's called youtube so that's what i'm going to name mine new line i want to hit space three times to keep everything kind of even nice and neat. We'll do a comment equals, we'll say uh, my YouTube share to enter space three times. We're gonna do path equals slash home slash solution slash YouTube. That was my path. Make sure you put your path. And then we're gonna do read only equals no and we want to be able to browse it so browsable equals yes now that's all we have to do here so we're gonna do control x then y then enter then from here all we need to do is restart the service so we'll do sudo oops so we will do sudo service SMBD restart enter I went service not server restart enter all right now that the service is restarted next thing we need to do is allow it through our firewall so we can access it throughout our network so we'll do sudo ufw allow samba all right now we just need to create an account for us. So in order to do that, we are going to do sudo smbpasswd-a, and then the username, I will call mine Lucian, you can call yours whatever you want. Hit enter, and then it's gonna ask us for a password for this user. And that's it. We are done. So now what we can do 
Let me just minus this out. We go to my file explorer here. Go to this PC. I'm going to right click on it and click map network drive. Then you're going to do the IP address of the server, which in my case is this. And then you're going to do your share folder, which I named mine YouTube. You're going to put in whatever you put in here. And I'm going to connect using different credentials. Hit finish. It's going to ask for the username and password. This is the Samba username and password that you've just chosen. I'm going to select, select to remember my credentials. I hit OK. And now I'm in that folder. And that, as you see, it's 44 gigs free of 40, uh, 58 gigs. So this is just my virtual machine here to set up. So didn't make it very big. But this is a super simple way to get a share folder on your network, especially if you don't want to go through the whole setup. You set up a NAS system. Maybe you just want a simple share drive to share, uh, to share files over the network. This is the perfect solution for you. Super short, sweet video for you guys. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.